Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Friday, February 16th, 2024. Welcome to another eBay video. Today I'm going to be discussing quite a few topics if I can get them all in. A problem with immediate payment, a problem with the refunds, some interesting eBay encounters during the week, I'm also going to present some screenshots later that are very concerning, but I don't want to touch on them right now. I want to start the video off as usual. And for those of you guys who don't know me, I am the most honorable Joseph DeMarco. I come out here every Friday and I talk about the positive and the negative aspects of selling on eBay. I am not going to say everything's rosy when everything's not. And I'm not going to say eBay is the worst place, because it's definitely not. It's the best place to sell your items. But when problems arise, I will be the first person out here on the podium talking about it. Because if we don't talk about it, change will never come about. By talking about it, change may come about. All right? So I'm going to tell you some problems I experienced this week. And please keep in mind, if it happened to me, it can happen to you. That being said, we'll get started. First problem is with refunds. Specifically, buyer remorse. If a person institutes a return for buyer remorse, as you know, the buyer pays the shipping back. Now, I encountered a problem during the week. A buyer purchased some hubs from me, and they didn't fit his vehicle. So he opened the return saying, wrong size doesn't fit my vehicle. No problem. He even wrote a little love note saying, I love these items. They look great, but they don't fit. Okay, no problem. He sent them back to me. I went to give him his refund. Usually, up till now, you would see the purchase price, let's say, is $50, and then underneath it was original shipping, let's say it was $20. And the original shipping was toggled off because it was a buyer remorse return. Not this time. Shipping was toggled on, even though it was a buyer remorse return for wrong size doesn't fit. Luckily, I caught that. I toggled that bad boy right back off, and I gave him back his purchase price of $50. Not only is that concerning, but the return is still open. It looks like eBay is no longer closing returns for buyer remorse unless you give them the original shipping back. That's the way it appears to me. All right? Now, if you had any returns this week, the wrong size doesn't fit. I sure hope you were careful. I'd like to hear about it if you experienced this yourself. If you do get any returns for buyer remorse, please watch out for that. I didn't print out any screenshots or I didn't catch any because I want to see how this progresses and I have way too many more important topics to talk about. I just got a best offer on eBay. Let's just see if it's worth taking. I have accepted the best offer just now because eBay says I'm going to get paid immediately. Keep your ears open and see if you hear the ka sound, okay? Because I got a story to tell you that's related to this. There are still problems with immediate payment. I encountered two. One of them I started telling you about two weeks ago. Let me rehash that one and then I'll tell you this week's. Two weeks ago, a customer sent me best offers on two different items that were totally unrelated. Both were dog items, so I had no problem accepting the buyer's best offer. In each case, eBay told me I would be paid immediately. I accept, I accept. Okay, how long did it take me to get paid? It's a trick question. Nobody could answer that question. 
You know why? I never got paid. The buyer wrote to me, and I told you guys this in a previous video, and said something like, I don't have any money right now. I might be able to pay you in two weeks. Some nonsense like that. So I let it time out, and the unpaid item assistant automatically closed both offers as non-paid. And, you know, supposedly he got two item strikes, unpaid item strikes, but of course eBay doesn't do anything about that. Notice, guys, it's been several minutes. I still haven't been paid for that item you heard earlier. All right? Keep it in mind. All right? So, what happened this week? A few days ago, I get a best offer from an overseas buyer from Australia. Okay? Now, in the past, I've asked you guys what state in the United States gives you the most trouble. With me, it's always been Louisiana. Some of you guys named California, New York, Texas. But for me, it's Louisiana. I'm now going to ask you, outside of the USA, what location has given you the most trouble? And I'm going to come right out there and say Australia. Okay? Now I'm going to back up that statement. You may remember the incident I had a couple of months ago where an Australian buyer was using a freight forwarder and he bought the same item from me twice. Then a day or two later tried to cancel one of the items but it was already shipped and he got mad and left me negative feedback for both items. I showed you that on camera. So eBay did the right thing and they removed the negative feedback because this is a bad buyer. I still haven't had a chance to post about him on the eBay blocked bidders site, but I urge all of you guys who have Facebook to please join that group, eBay blocked bidders, because later in the video, ho oh, ho, do I got something to tell you. But back to the Australian buyers. So this guy, hey, I did get paid for the item you heard a few minutes ago. That was it. Right there. You heard it. Okay, so I had that Australian buyer sent me a best offer on a dog item. And I said to myself, this is going to be trouble. He's from Australia. But it was a dog item, so I took the chance and I accepted the offer. I woke up the next day hoping to see a payment notification. What did I get instead? A message from the buyer where he starts his dance. Bum, 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 bum. And it's all my fault for accepting his offer. Again, I don't blame anybody else. Hey, I led with my chin. And he starts to say that he wants me to send him an invoice to a different address in the United States. I can't do that. You know that. I said to him, I can't do that. When you check out, you can do it. Or if you prefer, I'll just cancel the transaction because I was getting bad vibes. He wrote back the next day, yeah, just cancel it. And I'll repurchase with a USA address. Okay. This is one time when I was happy, happy, ecstatic to cancel. Now here's where the story gets crazy. I did relist the item. And this morning I wake up and I have a message from this guy. I wake up 7 a.m. and he writes to me and says, I sent you a best offer of $60 with a USA address. Okay. Wait a minute. You didn't send me anything. I got no best offer. So I chalked it up to being a Looney Tune. Maybe around... Three hours later, he sends me a best offer of $60 with immediate payment promise by eBay. Now, I'm not sure if he really did send the offer in the middle of the night and eBay delayed it, or if he was just giving me a line and sent it to me three hours later. But either way, 
Put that to the side. It's immaterial. eBay promised immediate payment. That was this morning at 7 a.m., and because of the immediate payment, I accepted his offer. What could possibly go wrong? Did I get paid immediately? No. Did I get paid at all? Nope. I still have not been paid, and that was 7 o'clock this morning. If I do get paid before I publish the video, or even after, I will put it in the first comment below, and I will pin it so everybody can see. But I've said this for months. There's a serious problem with eBay immediate payment, and it needs to be addressed sooner rather than later. And I don't think it will be, because they laid off a bunch of the code slingers, as you know. And I think the ones that are working are outsourced to India. So yeah, that's been a serious problem for me. All right, next item I want to talk about is a minor item, and it's not eBay's fault, but it has to do with returns. When I send my items out, I pack them very carefully with plenty of bubble wrap, and nothing shakes in the box. Okay? Every time I get a return, I open the box up. There's no bubble wrap. For some reason, that stuff must be in demand. They take the items, they jam them in the box, they're shaking loose. I swear to God, every single time, people remove the bubble wrap and the packing material. I don't know why, but I know it's not just me, because a friend of mine told me about this the other day. And when I got this return back the other day, where the original shipping was toggled on, sure enough, it was missing the bubble wrap and it was loose in the box. Okay, 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 okay. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to do a cutaway to three screenshots that I prepared for you. One is going to make you chuckle, the first one. The other two are really serious. So without any further talking, I'm going to present the screenshots, and after that, I'm going to come back here on camera and discuss them. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, I have three screenshots I want to share with you, ranging from the absolutely ludicrous to the criminal. So we're going to start off with the absolutely ludicrous first. Please take a look at a message I received the other day. The item I'm selling is a lot of two genuine 1960 to 1962 Oldsmobile hubcaps. In the listing, I clearly have the size, but nonetheless, a person writes to me on February 13th and says, what size are they? I responded, these are the 10 and 1 half inch dog dish hubcaps. The next day, look what he writes. Are they four of them? When you can clearly see, it says lot of two, and there's two in the picture. And I responded, buy. He's blocked. Guys, if you are not smiling to yourself right now, then you never will. I just wanted to share this little anecdote with you because I thought you'd find it amusing. I get approximately five of these per week. Now we have two more serious topics to discuss. Okay, first of all, this one. What happened is, this was from a Facebook post. Somebody who I actually personally know got a negative feedback. And the feedback violated eBay policy. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure if the buyer was using curse words or if the buyer was making threats, but the feedback definitely violated eBay policy. So my friend who's a seller thought for sure should be able to get it removed and contacted eBay. I believe she contacted concierge, but don't quote me. And they looked at the feedback and they said, this definitely violates eBay policy. We're going to remove the feedback. However, 
we're not going to remove the feedback rating because that buyer still has the right to express her displeasure. Is that not disgusting? Not only are they not standing behind the seller, but they're admitting that the buyer violated policy and they are in no way sanctioning the bad buyer for either cursing out the seller or saying something that definitely violates eBay policy. I don't think you need me to tell you guys that eBay is heavenly skewed, excuse me, heavily skewed in favor of the buyer. All right? Now, before I show you the next screenshot, I want to tell you something. I thought about exposing this person for what they did, because this is the worst of the worst. However, this is actually now a criminal matter. The police have been involved, eBay's involved. So at this point, I'm not going to expose them. I'm going to wait at least a week or two, and I'm going to see if eBay kicks this buyer off the site. And I'm going to show you why now. Prepare yourself to see the worst of the worst. This is an actual message that an eBay buyer sent to somebody who sells in eBay Motors who I know. Basically what happened is the buyer purchased two items from the seller, item one and item two. Both items were boxed up the same day and shipped out. One item arrived when it was supposed to. But because we had a snowstorm, the second item arrived a day late. And this is what they wrote to the seller. Can you believe? I mean, words fail me. I would like to hear from you guys and tell me what you think eBay should do in this case. Now, personally, I think it's a police matter as far as the person's safety is concerned, and they did, in fact, file a police report. I don't know where it's going. I sure hope something is done. But we've all had threats made against us. Well, many of us have on eBay. And, you know, it's like buyers have carte blanche. And if they let this buyer get away with this particular statement, they should be ashamed of themselves. That being said, that's it for screenshots. Let's get back to the video. Now I'd like to discuss each of those screenshots with you briefly. The first one, just plain, has to make you chuckle with the utter stupidity of this person. How can people be so freaking stupid when in the title it says a lot of two, the picture shows two, and of course, the description says to. On my life, I think I had three of them this week where I responded the exact same way. Bye. B-Y-E. Bye. And blocked. I don't need a pen pal. If they're lonely, they can go out and get a dog. I really do believe that some of these people although they have no intention of buying the item, are just looking for someone to engage with and chat with. I felt that way for the longest time, and I have not changed my mind on this issue. I like to see some of your comments each week. I read them, and a lot of times I read the same comment, and they say something like this, quote, Joe, if I had to deal with the kinds of customers you do with eBay Motors, I would go berserk, unquote. And yeah, I can understand your feelings. You guys that sell in collectibles and toys, you guys have it made because you're dealing with the cream of the crop, the people with disposable income, the people who've got a brain that know exactly what they're buying, okay? Me, on the other hand, not so much. The second screenshot is extremely concerning because it showed eBay agreed with the seller 
that the feedback violated policy. Whatever they said, I honestly don't know what they said. They agreed that it violated policy, but yet they would not sanction the bad buyer for making a threat or cursing or whatever they did, and they would not remove the red dot. So when I guess in eBay's mind, it's okay to violate policy, and we're still going to leave the red dot up. Totally wrong. Totally wrong on every level. And lastly, the last screenshot. You know, I swear to you, every bone in my body wants me to put that guy on full out blast and reveal his user ID now. And the only reason I don't is because there's an ongoing police investigation. And I don't want to do anything on this channel that could possibly hurt the case and let this guy skate like Tanya Harding. I want this guy prosecuted. How could anybody say something like that? What I am going to do is I'm going to follow this user ID. And I'm going to let you know if eBay bans the user. And if they don't ban them, think about it. Do you think they will help you if somebody threatens you in the near future? This is serious, man. Serious as can be. So, yeah, it's been a crazy week. As far as sales were concerned, sales have been mediocre for the longest time. I don't know how you guys did on Super Bowl Sunday. Believe it or not, before the game started, I did better than expected. I actually was satisfied. I was happy with what I sold Sunday before the game, but once the game started, you know, it was a ghost town. Everybody was watching the game. I don't know if you guys watched the game, this was the first time ever I did not go into a Super Bowl pool. I just didn't go in. For those of you guys who did watch the game, I know this is off eBay topic, but was there any commercial that really made you like open your mouth in shock? There was one commercial that I opened my mouth in shock. I was like, what? And it was the commercial for Kennedy. I don't know if you guys saw it. It was a takeoff on a 1960s Kennedy commercial. It was, it was weird. It was very weird. So yeah, if you heard my little phone just give a notification, it gave me a notification that another one of my returns was delivered. And they want me to Give the buyer back his money. eBay will harass you every day of the week until you give the guy back his money. This guy is a scammer. I'm going to take care of him once I open the box and make sure everything's correct. He bought some items. I told you about this last week or the week before. And he lied and said I gave different dimensions than they actually are. But I'm going to be taking back the original shipping and I'm going to duck the return shipping. So we'll see how that progresses when I do that. But that's all I have to say right now, guys. Remember something. I'm Crazy New York Driver, and you're not. Thank you for watching this video. Please take some time out of your schedule and comment on the topics that I presented, especially the screenshots. Because this is serious, guys. If we don't talk about it here, it's not going to be brought up in discussion. eBay does watch these videos, and that's good. That's a plus. Anybody from eBay watching, would you please take action, especially on that third screenshot? We can't have people threatening the lives of others on the platform. It's not acceptable. Anyway, thanks for watching. Rock on and peace.